welcome welcome to my channel of celebrate your moment with joy this is pastor florence i want to greet you in the name of jesus as you're watching as you'll be listening i want to believe that god has something for you time and again i bring you something that has been a blessing to me that god has taught me uh, through it and because i love you with the love of god that's why i come and share and i want to believe that there is also something that God wants you to do after you run all these things. First and foremost, my request number one is for you to pray for me. How would you pray for Pastor Florence? EGR, extra grace required, so that I'll be able to deliver these messages that God gives to me just freely and freely free in a very gracious way. It is one of those days I bring inspiration word. Because my weekly schedules are Monday through Wednesday, I bring you inspiration word. That's this celebrating in the kitchen, Fridays putting on the right gear for the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, I take a break, or I can bring you random inspirational messages. So stay with me for that, uh, for, uh, because today is that day I bring you one of, uh, it's one of the days I bring you the word of inspiration. My words of sharing will be from the book of Romans uh, chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. I'll be reading from New uh, from different fashions. I'm going to read from New King James Fashion, NIV, uh, NLT, or New, New Living Translation, and English Standard Fashion. Let me start with an, uh, New King James Fashion. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the masses of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service, and and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Okay, let me read uh, this other fashion here. Oh. NIV, therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and as pleasing and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be, then you will be able to test and, up and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. That is NIV. Then, English Standard Version says. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to, the, to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by, the, by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Then, New Living Translation reads, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I prayed with you to give your bodies to God because, because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. Don't copy the behavior. I love this. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and present and perfect. And the title of my message will be, How We Present Ourselves Matters. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure it forever. Thank you for this word that you've given me. You have taught me through it, dear Father. And now, dear Lord, I have obeyed you to share it with my viewer and my listener. I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart may be pleasing to thee, King of Kings. Holy Spirit, take over. I dip myself in the blood of Jesus, that I may minister under that anointing that breaks every yoke of the enemy. I thank you and I adore you. And for my viewer and my listener, I pray that their ears and their eyes eyes of the spiritual uh, uh, oh, life will be opened to see and understand what your will is. I lift you high up, dear Father. 
For you have said that if you are lifted up, you shall draw men unto yourself. Do only what you can do in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. How we present ourselves matters. You know, I struggled because this is what I normally bring on kitchen celebration. But God was working with me on, on, on it and I had to bring it to you. I have a cucumber here. That one, the way it is, it's not peeled. I have another one here, which is not, it is packaged, but different. Some of it are peeled, others are not, but they are cut in pieces and they look good. These ones, they are nicely packaged. Even if I do like this, it will not fall down because it is nicely packaged. This one, I just put a cream paper. If I, if I put it down, it might fall. And so I wanted to make sure that it is easily accessible so I could show you. I can do that. You see? See? Now, how we present ourselves matters before God. The Bible says very clearly, I like the different fashion. One is it of it says, I plead. Another one, I beg. Another one, I beseech. Another one, I plead. My brother, my sister, how we present ourselves matters. You know there are many people who do not like cucumbers. I am that kind of a person who do not like cucumbers. But because I know the benefits of it, I do. But also how it is presented make it even more appealing. This one is very appealing. And to end on it, when you put the dressing of your choice, it even becomes even more. You can even just put a little salt or steam it a little bit and it's going to be good to go. You can also juice it and it can be cucumber juice. Here you are. You can eat it the way it is like this one when it is just cut in good pieces and it's appearing without removing the outer cover. Or you can peel it and then it will just going to be like this. I'm not going to eat. But what I wanted to let you know it is that our presentation matters. In the sight of God, the Bible encourages us, beseech us, pray to us, beg us to present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to God. How you present yourself, my brother, my sister, matters in the sight of God and even in the sight of men. Even how we dress matters, how we eat matters, how we talk matters, how we do things matters. My brother, my sister, God wants us to present ourselves as living sacrifice. These cucumbers are packaged. They are appealing. God would want you to package yourself in a way that you are presentable before his, uh, in his eyes. You can be able to uh, be in his presence and say, my father and my God, I come to you. When he look, because he can see you inside out, he can say, for sure, this one is a repentant soul. Also, the way like now, the way I am dressed. There is a way I can dress and I cannot come to do the presentation here. So my brother, how you present yourself matters. As a wife, how you present yourself matters. How you present even, how you keep your kitchen, how you keep your bedroom, your bathroom and all that kind of, kind of matters, kind of thing matters. But what I wanted to bring to you is presentation. In marketing, they know presentation matters and how they do their things and packaging. Like now, if you are to go and buy in a store, this one which is nicely packaged and peeled, it's going to cost you maybe $3. Or 300 shillings if it's back in Kenya or whatever euro, you can convert it. This one might be a little bit cheaper, maybe $2. This might be $3. This might be $2. How about this one? It might be 99 cents or $1. How you present yourself, you know, adds value to you, to yourself. Be a person who can add value to yourself by the way you present yourself. How you talk, how you cook, you know. You know, oh my goodness. Value yourself. For you, you are hell. Don't just eat things. You see, this was supposed to be for the kitchen. <laughs> but uh, God worked through me, through this word about presenting ourselves. I beseech you as Pastor Florence. The word of God is beseeching you. The word of God is pleading with you. The word of God is, is pleading with you to present yourself as a living sacrifice. What is that living sacrifice? If I cut myself because I'm living, I'm going to feel pain. When you present yourself before God, it's painful. Let me tell you, spending this time and coming to share the word of God is not that easy. No. 
I have to inconvenience my schedule and my time. Time is money. Time is of essence, my brother, my sister. How you spend your time matters. How you do yourself. How you go to the bathroom and scrub yourself. When it is so hot, you want to, to go to the shower and just open the hot, you know, the, the cold water. It will run through you. How you present yourself before God. Now I say this one, even if I do it like this, it is not going to fall. It is well represented. It is not going to spill. It is well represented. It is well packaged. And it is ready to go. Our God wants us to present ourselves well, holy and acceptable, such that even when the enemy comes to bring temptation, you are not going to fall into temptation because you are well packaged by the word of God. You are well packaged in prayer. You are well packaged you are by your behavior. You are integrity matters. Man of God, wherever you go, whether you are with your wife or not, you are not going to see that side chick is very attractive because you are well packaged in the word of God. Present yourself as holy and acceptable before God. Woman of God, whatever you are, whether you are with your husband or not, like me, I travel around because I'm well packaged in the word of God. I'm not going to spill my integrity, my holiness, oh, because I know who I am in the name of Jesus. How we present ourselves matters. How we have packaged ourselves matters. Have you packaged yourself well with the prayers? Have you packaged yourself well with the word of God? Have you packaged yourself with, with the worship and praise? Eh? So that you know, I would rather obey God rather than man. That you are not going to fear because you know God is in charge. I go to prisons and they ask me, why you ask your husband? You know, it is me who have been called, not my husband. We have to get it right. And for you, man and woman of God who have been called, and your spouses are with you, praise God. And for you, man and woman of God who have been called, and your spouse is not in it, praise God because God works in us in different ways. My husband has his different call. I have my different call. You know, it is... It is very beautiful. It is very inspiring when a man and a woman of God are praising God together, are serving together. It is such a blessing. But I want to tell you that does not mean that if you are the one who God has call, given a call, that you should give a reason. My husband, my husband, my wife, my wife, I gave myself reasons. Until one time, let me tell you, oh God. It was not easy. It was not easy. God asked me, if I take your husband, will you serve me? And I said, no, God, I will. I will. My brother, my, you know, there are some things I don't share, but as time comes and a chance to present itself, that's why if you are, I always ask myself when I always go, da, 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 or like that, maybe I've answered you a little bit. You can see me in camera. We can share more. My husband has given me permission. He tells me, be blessed. And so, my brother, my sister, present yourself as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable before God. I, oh my goodness, I question God. I question God. Sometimes I would tell my husband, give me a daughter if you are with me. You know, <laughs> craziness. Wana, childness. Let me tell you, present yourself willing and acceptable, ready. And one time we were seated in our family on our table room. My mother-in-law was here and we talked and we talked. That was many years back and as we were talking about the ministry, because me, I want us to serve together. And my husband said, Nyeti kongireti yotu kata ani mijetre I enrolled in the school of ministry. Don't wait like me. But, you know, we all have our own timing. But how we present ourselves before God, how you package yourself before God, is very, very important, man and woman of God. You as a child, how you package yourself, not because your parents are near you, not because, you know, your teacher is, by, is near you. Package yourself well as a student. Do not wait until the last minute. I have no idea why, the, the, you know, the, the homework are always to be submitted before midnight, no? And some people will be rushing and they'll be telling the instructor, oh, I, I, I submitted my work rate because there was no internet. The, uh, uh, our power went off. Come on! You should have packaged yourself well in a defense. These cucumbers are well packaged. You are not going to fall into that temptation. It doesn't hurt to put, submit your work at 8 p.m. even if it's due at the deadline is going to be midnight in Jesus' name. As a man of God, be prepared. When your wife have not gotten children, prepare yourself. Don't just rush the last minute. Yes. And now come here to parents. Parents, the Bible says, parents leave an inheritance for your children. I said another day, it is not wise for parents to be waiting because they have educated their children. They are going to help them. You might wait and wait and die waiting. 
Be a person who can work and stand on yourself. Be stable. You don't know whether your children are going to be saying, Bye, daddy. Bye, mommy. I have found my sweetheart. And they don't even come to see you. I have seen them. For those who are in the healthcare, you know that you, the, the, their parents have been dumped in those facilities. Their children never even come to see them. It is good. Okay, leave an inheritance for your children. But also, give yourself time to package yourself well. Woman of God. The fact that you have get, given to you have given birth does not uh, say that you just keep yourself like that. Day. No, present yourself well, acceptable, and presentable, such that you are gonna be of good report in your house and outside. Then when God sees you, he can say, well done. He can be proud of you. Your children can be proud of you, the way you dress, the way you present yourself. Your husband can be proud of you. Your wife can be proud of you. Don't wait. You know, some people, they have so much in their wardrobe, in their closet. And they don't even put on those clothes. You know, I have a family friend. He used to make me laugh. Every Tuesday he was off, he would put on a, a suit. You know, and he would tell me, Mama, I don't want to be... <laughs> I'm putting on this, and he was living in an apartment. I'm putting on this suit, and I'm going around. People are going to think this apartment, I own them. I loved that. It is good you present yourself. Don't wait. Your clothes are getting dusty in the closet. You don't put them. I will change and change and change. My closet has many. Many people are used by God to bless me. If you are touched to bless me, welcome. There is one lady who have gotten the secret. I tell you, what I was saying, present yourself. Is a living sacrifice before God. I'm going to read those scriptures again, the, 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 the words that were touching me so much, and I want to believe that God will help, will touch you. The, uh, the one word is, I urge, I urge you. God is urging us to present ourselves as living sacrifice before him. Okay, the other word was, I appeal. I am appealing to you. The word of God is appealing to you. You present yourself as holy and acceptable before God. The other word is, hallelujah, plead. I plead with you. The word of God is pleading with you to present yourself as holy and acceptable before God. And finally, I beg. It's begging. Beseech. Urge, plead, beg. Present yourself as a living sacrifice before God. When you do that, you'll be able to celebrate every moment with joy. Not because of the environment uh, surrounding you, not because of the circumstances, but because you have packaged yourself well. You are not going to be moved. You're going to say, I shall not, I shall not be moved. I shall not. I shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the water side. I shall not be moved. Digenye, digenye nyeka, digenye, digenye nyeka. Tadohana, mote moadeo. Oh, hey, hey, diga nye nye ka todo ana kiu ka bai pa kito wega diga nye nye ka diga hote todo ana kiu ka bai pa kito wega diga hote ka Father, I thank you for your word. Thank you that you blessed me through this word and you wanted me to share it with my viewer and my listener. It's my prayer that my brother and my sister will not be the same after listening to this word. Help us to package ourselves, even myself, as I continue to package myself in integrity for the glory and honor of thy name in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I do not know. Maybe you are the one who made me struggle a lot with this message because I would have brought it on a Thursday. If you are that kind of a person, please obey what God has spoken. You are there, maybe you have never given your life to the Lord. That is the beginning. I want to pray with you. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I repent of my sins. Thank you for your word. Help me to package myself well for the glory and honor of thy name. Fight my, write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Start walking in the newness of life. And testimony is important of what has happened in your life. Uh, you know, joining a group of believers, having a home church is very important so that you'll be equipped there to be a, ble be a blessing to other people. 
and I love you, God loves you the most. Let me know whether maybe God was speaking to you through this word and maybe you are the one that made the Lord change my sharing from Thursday to this day. My weekly schedule, Monday through Wednesday, inspirational word. Thursday, celebrating in the kitchen. Fridays, putting on the right gear for the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, I take a break. Share, share this message. Subscribe to my channel and remember to pray for me. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember to celebrate every moment, not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy. Why? Every moment matters. Every moment counts. Thank you. Africa.